Well, if I've got to get stuck in a traffic jam, this is the kind of traffic jam I don't mind being stuck in. But that was later on. The morning, actually, had started more like this. A little bit cloudy, still warm. I found cormorants hanging out around Mosquito Creek. And meadowlarks, of course, because they're always around and singing at this time of year. And plenty of other feathered friends like this rusty blackbird. The meadowlark's voice overpowered his. A truly lovely day for near the end of spring and the beginning of summer. I was up on the high ridges in the north end of the Porcupine Hills. It had rained earlier and it was a bit damp up there. One of the roads I was on was just greasy. But it was lovely and, oh man, was it green. The cattle are going to get very fat on all of this. And Mama Bluebird is probably having a pretty easy time finding food for her chicks. There were a few threatening clouds hanging around, but they were mostly to the west. Down along Beaver Valley Road, I passed horses grazing in deep grass and stopped to have a look at all these dandelions. They're weeds, but they're pretty. Down the road on a high ridge, I set up my camera to shoot a time lapse of the clouds rolling by. Looking down from the heights, I could see a truck going along the road pulling a stock trailer and a potential Southern Alberta traffic jam, my favorite kind. So I asked the guys if I could fly my little drone over them as they moved their cattle and they said, sure, go right ahead. This is what it looked like, just spectacular. From there, I continued on down Beaver Valley Road and over to Willow Creek Provincial Park. Last time I was here was cold and miserable, but today, beautiful. Lots of bank swallows swooping around and roses coming into bloom. Alberta's provincial flower. <laughs> we couldn't have picked a better one. The soft scent coming off them was incredible, but it was completely overwhelmed by the wolf willows. These tiny, tiny yellow flowers have such an intense fragrance. But while I was sniffing around the park, the wind started to come up and those ominous looking clouds I'd seen earlier started to build up and move toward me. There was at least one storm brewing, maybe a couple, maybe a whole whack of them. But that's just how springtime moves into summer in Southern Alberta. You never know what you're going to get even on a single day. And you know what? I absolutely love it. <laughs>